All right, catch, go ahead. Catch one and bring it here and I'll show you if it's a boy or not. All right, bring it here. All right, that's a girl. Okay. <laughs> catch another one, see if, you can, see, see if you can find one. Grab it. That is a girl. Hey, look at Papa. That one right there on the fence right there. Look, here he comes. Here he comes, right here. He's right there. Grab him, right there in front of the bush. Get him, get him. Go get him. You got him. Oh, he got away from me. <laughs> is this a boy? That, that is a boy. Put him in there and shut the door. Put him in there and shut the door. Hey, All right, what we're... Huh? That's the boy you were telling me. I think so. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was, I saw it, I saw it went in there. You did? Okay. All right, guys. Today, what we're doing... Well, oh, by the way, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys, stop, you guys stopping by. Today, what we're doing is uh, we're in the first batch of quails that we hatched this year. We're going to try to get our male to female ratio correct, which uh, when you're raising Caternix quail, which that's what we're raising, you want uh, five females for every male. So or f it's one to four, one to five. I always try to put one extra so if something happens, like, you know, we've had snakes get in here. We've had dogs, people's dogs get in here. Uh, so I always leave an extra one or two males, but it's basically four females for one male or five females for one male. What we're going to do is try to catch up all our males, and oh, oh wait, wait, that's a male. We're going to yeah, <laughs> we're going to try to catch all our males, bag them, uh, put them up in this box right here. We'll, then we'll get a, a head count on the females, and what? We'll, that's a boy. Yep, stick him in here. Hey, can you help There you go. There you go. All right. And I'll tell you guys how we determine males from females. But what we're going to do is uh, put our males in here, get a head count on the females, and then we'll put whatever males back that we need to put in here for the females. And yeah, that's a male. Mm -hmm. And then we'll y'all just wait a second, y'all y'all wait just one second <laughs> while I do this. But anyway, these guys are ready to catch some quail. But what we're going to do is try to get a head count on the female, put whatever males we need back in here. The rest of the males we're going to process and make an extra cool dinner tonight. So you guys stick around for that. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to show these guys. Do y'all know what males are, or males are, or what, do you know the boys in the, from the girls? Do you know the boys from the girls? Uh, no. No. <laughs> well, we're going to show you. So stick around for that. All right, come over here and show the camera. The males will have this copper color chest right here it'll be solid just a solid uh, what I call copper color chest these are your males so we'll keep as many males well all the males that we can catch and leave all the females is this a girl or boy all right let me show you buddy come in now this is a female ah. you see how she's got a speckled chest that little chest okay. is all speckled and I think okay. that's basically for camouflage. If they lay eggs, they would be really, really camouflaged. But that's your female. And the other one will have the copper color chest. So you look, look. Which one's that? A female. A female, a little girl. All right. I see a male right over here. I'm going to try to catch one. All right. There you go. Let me see. Hey, good job, buddy. I caught one. You caught one. <laughs> Papa, try to catch one. I've been watching this guy right here. He's been over here hiding out. Hey, Papa made that easy. What you got, bud? Hey, look at you. It's a tiny. Looks like a little. Good job. Girl. All right, let's just do a little head count. Let Papa look around. Well, the grand total is 12. We have 12 females, right, buddy? Yeah, you excited about that? So, if we have 12 females, how many boys do we need to put it back in here? Do you know that? Three. Three? Okay, that sounds good to me. So, we're going to put. No, we need more than that. Let's put. 
Well, let's put three. Two is what basically we probably need, but we're going to put three males back in here. So y'all grab us three males out. Sure grab us three boys out of there, and we'll process the rest of them. Hey, and one fly. Grab one, buddy. One flies out. There we go. So now we have our ratio the way we want it. Now we have 12 females. We have three males. So I think that's going to work good. I may end up putting these birds in the house next to us right here. Because uh, these are our, our older birds. They're two years old. And they say about your second year is when the, the egg, uh, your egg rate will, will drop a little bit after the second year. Um, so we're coming into that second year with these guys. So maybe towards the end of summer, coming into fall, we may just take these birds and put them in there. It'd be less, one less pen we have to fool with, and we'll just combine all the birds in one pen. I, th I think that'll be a lot easier, and we'll have our next year birds coming up. So we'll have a bunch of eggs for next year. We're going to get to processing some birds, stick around. When we get done processing these birds, we're going to get these quail, season them up, fire up that smoker. And what are we having? Smoked quail tacos. <laughs> Mason's like, whatever, just fill my belly. doing first is just sort of laying our birds out so we can season them up and get them ready for the smoker. All right, we're going to use some bone sucking sauce seasoning. I love this stuff. We're just going to put a little on here because we're making a, a Mexican meal, but I still want some kind of seasoning on here some kind. We'll add some other stuff at the end. Next, we'll add our apple juice. We have to have apple juice. That'll help keep some moisture in the pan. As you can tell, in the background, we have some hungry children. <laughs> have some hungry kids. Wrap it in some aluminum foil to keep that moisture in. All right, we got it up to, well, it's 250 now. But uh, we want to run at 250, 270, 300 mark. That's about what I like cooking at. Uh, we got some hickory on here. We went ahead after the bone sucking sauce. My wife had a, a better idea than mine. Put some taco seasoning on there now. <laughs> so we did. I didn't show that, but we did. We went ahead and put taco seasoning on the birds right after the bone sucking sauce. So that just made more sense to cook it in with the birds. So we did that. And uh, our birds are on the grill. We are excited. It smells great. There's nothing better than the smell of a smoker. I, I, I'm going to sit out here the rest of the day with my little buddy. And he sees his chicken. He sees the chickens. You ready to go play with the chickens? Yeah, we got to go feed the pigs. Come on, let's go. Next, we're just going to cut up some sides. We like a red onion. And we like to have some cilantro. Love this stuff. And of course, some avocado.
and of course a whole bunch of limes. So I cannot shoot a video. I cannot make a video without Jackson being in it, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> he follows me around everywhere I go. Right? Yeah. I see. But guys, with along, uh, with, along with all that, we have black beans, we have shredded lettuce, and Kim's homemade salsa. We have everything it takes to make a great quail burrito. <laughs> I keep saying taco, but it's actually a burrito. This is going to be really good. We only have about an hour left. Stick around. We'll go pull these things off the smoker and see how they turned out. Okay, next, we're just gonna break all this meat up and put it in a bowl. Try to debone it for what we're doing. Well guys, that turned out to be a ton of shredded well, that is going to be absolutely delicious. We got the queso being over there, uh, being melted over there. This is going to be good. Emma, Emma, are we happy? <laughs> Are you okay? Huh? Are we all happy? Look at you. Look at Jack. Mm. All right, guys. I'm gonna close this out. Thank you so much for checking out our video. Our video, smoked quail tacos. We got some birds thinned out, and we got to eat some quail in the process. That's well, it's ridiculously good. She knows how to eat. Jessica knows how to eat quail taco, don't you? <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Do me a favor. Click that subscribe button if you like this video. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Anything you guys want to say? So put, the phone, put the phone down and let's see. Thank you, guys. Love y'all to death. We'll see y'all on the next video.